Midnight Toast is a great tag, actually. I love that. It seems like a band name. Yo, they're, they're, my favorite album is like the, the Green Toaster. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and it, uh, Raido going to be going with Duck Hunt to start out with. Um, of course, Raido, like you mentioned earlier, I believe he also has the, a banjo. Yep. That does fantastic work. He just loves bird duos. Yeah, he, just, he loves his projectiles, and it just happens to be that all of his projectile characters that he plays is more, more than one character in one. But right now we see him just kind of sieging up behind the gunman, just tossing out the can, using the gunman as a human shield if the pellets knock the can back into him. Right. And otherwise, just getting the feel for how Midnight Toast plays. We yeah. already see the, the run-up grab coming out to play, which is so important for Duck Hunt to establish, because otherwise the opponent just inches forward with shield, right? right? And like you need it to show them that they can't always be in shield so that then they can get hit by your can. Duck Hunt always is kind of portrayed as this campy character, but really he needs to get in in order to really do a lot of his damage. You know, he needs to get those grabs, he needs to get forward air string, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see if Raito is able to kind of break this wall that Midnight Toast is trying to put up. And so far he's able to sneak back on the stage. Midnight Toast getting a solid amount, like 68%. The other thing about Duck Hunt is I, I like to think of the character as less a zoner and more kind of like a magician, like a trickster, okay. where he tries to use misdirection to make his openings, right? And a lot of times that misdirection is about fear of the can. Mm -hmm. you Because the can by itself isn't really going to kill people, right? Not unless it's like very deep off stage, but the opponent reacting to the can opens them up to Duck Hunt doing like a smash attack and yeah. killing them off that. So that's something to really watch out for. And that's why like, you see the can being specifically sent out to Midnight Toast as he's in, his way, on, in the air on his way back to the stage, or being set up on the ledge to bait out like a roll get up in. But right there, Raido not really needing to resort to that, just catching the landing right on the ledge with an up air. Um, but so much of that was just the pressure of the can. Um, good on Midnight Toast, honestly, not to give in to that fear and make the stock last for as long as it did. Because if Duck Hunt kills you at like 120, like Duck Hunt is getting fantastic value. All right, man. Raito able to take that first stock and looks like Midnight Toast able to take advantage, looking to take that other stock right back. Ooh, Midnight Toast focusing so much on dodging the can and he uses his double jump and that's where Raito finds his opening right there on the juggle. Yeah, and he's kind of trapping him on these platforms and that's a big part of the game, right, for Duck Hunt is that he wants to keep you up there and once you, he's got you up there, that's when he gets to just throw mix-up after mix-up at you. Mm. Wow, the dash attack actually crouching wow. under the crash bomb. Yeah. Nice uh, hurtbox shifting. And another opportunity oh, there, yeah. yeah. And you see how, the, yeah, once again, that can force Midnight Toast to go into that specific recovery arc, and then the Nair in that other spot, like, would have guaranteed to hit or forces the air dodge, right? Yeah. It's, that's really what Duck Hunt is always thinking that extra step behind the can, and that's kind of how you have to think when you fight the characters. Like, what is he trying to bait out with this that I that can play around as well? Midnight Toast finally able to find that stock. A little bit of a crouch. Uh showing off a little bit. <laughs> he's able to like put on a lot of percent in these stocks, but he's just it's, he's having a hard time sealing the deal. And you know that kind of random back air runoff was a great mix up. Uh, Raito wasn't able to tech in that situation and uh, see if he can replicate that, but this is looking kind of over at this point. This is yeah very, very tough for Midnight Toast. It's like we know Mega Man has that kill power, um, but I feel like a lot of it is gonna be like can Midnight Toast figure out his way through the neutral in this game? And if he doesn't win this game just figuring out how to adjust to, to that play. Like, we're seeing him knock away the can a lot more right. as time goes on with, like, the Metal Blade or even, like, the forward smash. So depending on how he can, like, take control of that and put Raido on the back foot or before having to actually get in would make a big difference. Looking for a grab right now, but not going to find it. Still makes his way out of the corner. Midnight Toast, though, sent coast to coast. Yeah, this is definitely, like, death from by a thousand cuts for Raito. He just continues to get hit after hit after hit. Neither, none of them like specifically looking for a kill, just looking to get that damage. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just putting himself in a position where he takes advantage, and eventually he finds that kill just by you know doing his due diligence and covering the right options. And he's got the luxury to do that. He has that stock lead. Um, so he, he ha even if they start like trading, at this point, Midnight Toast is still going to die first, even if it's just going to be forward airs and such. Or line up just the can just right off stage, yeah. and send Midnight Toast flying out. Yeah, once Midnight Toast committed to the double jump and went for the Metal Blade, that was Raito's, you know, prime opportunity to dip the can a little bit lower and then bring it back up so that he could catch him on the downswing. Yeah. Between the beans and the toast, man, that's looking like a delicious <laughs> snack. What's in that can, man? I think it is beans. Is it beans? Yeah, it's actually beans. How do they open the can? I guess they have guns. <laughs> that's your question? How do they How get they the food? I, <laughs> what if they're hungry, bro? I don't. There's I don't, two animals right there. I don't think ducks eat beans, so I guess dogs ducks don't really. Ducks will eat anything. Actually, you're right. Ducks will eat anything. But I mean, they have the gunman, right, and the sniper. 
And I guess firearms work to open things up. But right or just up. like having an adult in the room to be able to go get a can <laughs> opener and then they can over that way. So right to switching to Banjo, won the game, doesn't matter. It's Congo Saga, baby. Yeah. I think it might also have to do with the stage choice because uh, sure. Banjo gets to play with these platforms really nicely, especially the grenade eggs get to bounce along one of those like mid-height ones mm -hmm. and essentially cover that much kind of like a, a can would. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it, it's like a it's like a can that you don't really get to directly control, but in the meantime, like you don't have to be pressing that B button, so you can commit into moving forward and doing other options. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, like the opponent then respects it, goes down to the ground level, and then you get to fire like regular eggs and stuff. What was that? <laughs> I don't know what the intent there was. Get like a super read or something. Yeah. The midnight toast, just like the last game, keeping it respectable, but it's all about sealing out these stocks, right? Yeah, oh. that, like once once Rido especially started taking the stocks much sooner than uh, midnight, things started to get a little bit more out of control. Forward tilt, ooh, that move. You cannot punish that yep. like that. I don't know what he was trying to do, but can't do that. Because like it, it even looked like slightly unsafe spacing, right? Because like the, the middle of the neck right. getting hit by, but even then, that was nice. Wow. Baiting out the the shield drops to try to escape, and just gonna had to punish it with the uh, Wonder Wing. These uh, okay. pallets were perfectly spaced by yeah. Midnight Toast, just keeping just enough pressure tapped on to Raido so he could sneak his way back on stage. And he's doing it right when Raido wants to like jump up and press a button, right? It's yeah. the perfect timing every single time. That, that's really like having that sense of tempo timing when it comes to like a poke like that, so important. Yeah. All right, man, Raito, that's a big deal in this matchup, right? Banjo has that kill confirmed with the down throw into the up tilt. And he also has back throw as well. So whereas Mega Man, like he kind of just has to eventually get you off stage and then kill you from advantage. I mean, he can still like kill you with like back throw and up throw eventually yeah, as well. Eventually, eventually. Yeah, eventually. Like that, that's, it's much further along the way though. Mm -hmm. I, it, I can kind of see what you're saying, yeah. Um, especially it, it relies on uh, Mega Man being able to have like a higher uh, DPS so that he can reach his inevitability better. But that forward smash, that charge shot rather off stage, that's some beautiful stuff. Yeah, it's perfect good. timing. He, it, the grenade arched just over it as he shot it out. Yeah. Whoa. Right to love Ooh. that, man. He's got extra jumps though and that. Yeah. Wonder Wing, clutch. Midnight Toast not wanting to risk like trying to punish a move he's not sure about. So he just holds his ground instead of reaching out for the uh, Wonder Wing. Looking to try to keep the zone going uh, with Metal Blades, but Raido has the flexible movement along with the eggs to just dance through it and keep trying to close in this gap. But otherwise, there's only 20% between these two players. So this is an opportunity for Midnight Toast to take full control of the game. We can just find his way back to uh, solid ground. Ooh. Potential two frame right there with the down tilt, but Raito not getting it. There's going to be the down smash. Not mashing out in time at all. He, Midnight Toast is like, all right, I'm not going to get up tilted here. I won't die. I'm uh. not a high enough percent, right? <laughs> and yeah. so he, it was more of a casual mash than a hard mash. And so because of that, you know, Raito had just enough time to get that down smash out. The, the sort of timing mash, like, he head games that happen with those berry moves is so interesting. Yeah. Midnight Toast, it, the thing about Midnight Toast right now, I think, is that he's too willing to put himself in disadvantage. Mm. He needs to, uh, you know, play the neutral without having to, like, you know, find Raito overcommitting positioning-wise, and then, like, that situation, right? Yeah. Like, he put himself in disadvantage and then waited for Raito to overcommit to something, and he punished it. He's not, he's kind of, like, bypassing the neutral, trying to play disadvantage and advantage. I, I see what you're saying, yeah. He's, he's cutting out the middle step of just get to center stage. Yeah. But in the, like, in the sense of like jumping up and tossing those pellets too, like the reason that worked was because Raido was playing such a long game, just like you're trying to move back to center stage, so I'm just keeping throwing out these hitboxes to cover your exactly. running space. So like sometimes you do have to just press that button to get back in. Yeah, it is all about the mix-ups here, and that's a really good mix-up for Banjo. He has so many options once you get that grenade. He can, pr you know, essentially recover infinitely if yeah. you want to. I mean, he fly. He literally flies in his own game, right? Like, yeah. wow. That was a big call out. That was like, Raido knew Midnight Toast was gonna come straight yeah. down there. Like we saw in the very first stock, right? That weird Wonder Ant wing, and we're like, what was he trying to call out there? But Mega Man it? does have a really fast fast fall speed, mm -hmm. so it, it's entirely possible. It's like the exact same thing he just got with that force match. It's like he's just fast falling straight to reset neutral right there on the ledge. Yeah. I can go ahead and toss out a killing hitbox to get him for it. Yeah, and once he committed that double jump, it was over. Like, yeah. Right there, he had to land right there or go to ledge. And in that situation, if he goes to ledge. Raito doesn't lose anything. Yeah. He, do, he doesn't lose advantage. He's still standing right there. He has he doesn't have enough lag that he can like get back and take stage for that. So uh, good stuff to Raito. You know, yeah. punch it, taking it out. 2-0. It was I mean, seriously though, Midnight